Hey everyone, welcome to the waterfall deck over here at Therapy on the Rocks. Today what I want to do is I want to show you a technique that we actually teach to our skill enhancement participants when they're here for a week of training at our Sedona, Arizona treatment center. At seminars, John describes the fossil system as a three-dimensional web of dense irregular connective tissue that's comprised primarily of collagen and elastin fibers. This three-dimensional web runs from the bottom of our feet to the top of our head in a three-dimensional fashion. It surrounds everything in our body and everything in our body is surrounded by it, all the way down to the microcellular level. John asks us in seminars to look beyond the labels of bone, muscle, blood vessels, nerves, and organs. But yet, look at all these things as specialized fossil structures or fossil sacs. He also shares with us that bone is actually comprised of collagen, minerals, and water. So it's actually mineralized fascia. So we should be able to remodel it just like we do the web of the rest of the body. Well, how do you do that? Well, I'm gonna show you a technique that we actually share with our skill enhancement participants that actually focuses on mineralized fascia, which we call the bone. So we have a lot of patients that come in to our clinic that display with a bowing or a curvature of the shin. This could be for a lot of different reasons. They could be farmers and over, over the years doing their jobs has compressed um, into their lower extremities and allowed for this area to bow or curve away. They can also be equestrians, whether they're professional or recreational. And because they're riding horses, they end up getting that bowing that people talk about all the time. They can also be avid runners. And over time, of running miles and miles and miles, they've created tightness in the shin, which we end up calling shin splints. Or maybe when they were younger, they were involved in an accident where they broke their ankle or their shin, and so they had to be immobilized. And this immobilization really just tightened down the web of the fascia all in this area. They may even be someone who, when they were growing, went through um, really aggressive growth spurts where their bone grew a lot faster than the surrounding web. So the web actually ended up um, compressing this area and eventually causing a deformity, which is this bowing that we see with our patients. Doesn't make a difference how they actually got it. They're on your table and you're seeing this, and this is something that you might wanna try to treat. So the way that we actually do this is we use John's knowledge that bone is actually mineralized fascia and then we also use John's approach of exaggerating the lesion or going with the direction of ease. We combine those two things together and, and utilize them during our treatment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the heel of my hand and I'm gonna place it uh, between the tib and the fib of this person's shin. When we have a bowing, like I said before, we see a smiley face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the, uh, the tibia as a handle by placing my hand, my, my heel of my hand between these two bones, and then I'm gonna allow for my fingers to actually rest on the inside of her shin. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exaggerate the bowing, or what I like to say is I'm gonna create a smiley face. By doing that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my fingers pull back toward me and toward midline, while the outsides of my hands are gonna push on the bone, using that as our handle. It's gonna push away from me, but also toward midline. We're gonna follow all the other principles that John uses, um, shares with us to use when we're working with soft tissue. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, curve this to the, uh, to the depth barrier so I feel resistance, and then I'm gonna wait here. And we wait just like we do with soft tissue we're gonna wait 90 to 120 seconds for the piezoelectric electric effect to start. And then if we can hang out for an additional five minutes, we're gonna do that too. As the tissue starts to soften, we're gonna exaggerate the bow or make the smiley face even bigger. After we've gotten a few releases in that direction, then what we're gonna do is reverse our direction and make a frowny face or some, go down like this. So what we're gonna do is allow for our fingers to pull toward us and out while our thumbs are pushing against the tibia away from us and kind of spreading apart. After we've done this for a few minutes, 
Then what we're gonna do is try to focus on the space between the tibia and the fibula by standing up and allowing for our body weight to actually drop down into that inner osseous space, opening up the fascial web that's between the two bones. So sometimes we use the bones as handles to reach deep into the fascial system. Other times we use the soft tissue and we use that as our handles to reach into the web. But if we're doing this correctly and using all the principles that John has taught us over the years, what we're doing is influencing not just where our hands are, but the entire web of the body. So patients may feel things down in their feet, they may feel them up in their thighs, or anywhere else in the web where there might may be restrictions. Well, that's the technique using John's principles and the knowledge that he shared with us. So I hope you found this technique of bone remodeling useful. So when you get back in your clinic and you have someone on the table and they feel like they're kind of compressed in their shins, try it out and see how it works. Let us know how it works for you in your clinic and we look forward to seeing you guys sometime soon.